Hello friends, today we'll learn about rotation and revolution of the Earth. You've opened your gift. Good. It's a globe. A globe is a spherical model of Earth. Can you rotate this? Very nice. In reality, the Earth moves so fast that you don't even feel it. Let me explain this to you. You've drawn a beautiful diagram. Now draw the axis. The Earth's axis is an imaginary line joining the North Pole and the South Pole. Look here on the globe. The Earth spins around the axis. The spinning of the Earth around the axis is called rotation. It takes the Earth 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 4.09 seconds, or one day, to make one complete rotation. Let's assume this globe as Earth and consider this lamp as sun. Now look closely. The light is falling only on one side. This is day. Now look at the other part and you can see it's dark. This is night. At the same time that the Earth spins on its axis, it also orbits or revolves around the sun. This movement is called revolution. It takes 365 days, 5 hours, 59 minutes, and 16 seconds, or one year, for the Earth to make one full revolution around the Sun. You understood that. Rotation of the Earth is its turning on its axis. Revolution is the movement of the Earth around the Sun. Let's see what makes the Earth move or spin on its axis every day. When the solar system formed out, there was lots of gas and dust coming together due to the force of gravity. The gas and dust was moving around in a circle. As it all clumped together to form the sun and planets, these new objects started to spin, and then spin on a much faster rate. When all of the rocks and the clump of gas and dust started coming together, that made the Earth's spin speed up. Hmm. Imagine the Earth floating in space. It'll keep spinning unless something slows it down. It would take a lot of energy to slow down the spinning Earth because it is so huge. As you know, it's not spinning on the ground, so the ground is not going to slow it down. There's no air outside the atmosphere to slow it down either. That's why the Earth has continued to spin for a very long time. Now, let me show you why the Earth rotates around the Sun, or what's the reason of Earth's revolution. Sun is the most massive object in the solar system. Its mass is 1.98892 times 10 to the 30th power kilograms. That's about 333,000 times more mass than the Earth, and more than 1,000 times more mass than the planet Jupiter. As a result, the Sun has far more gravitational pull than any of the planets that revolve around it. Also, the amount of gravity exerted by the Sun is so much more than the Earth's gravitational pull. That's why the Earth is forced into an orbit around the Sun. Now you know a lot about rotation and revolution of the Earth. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.